that's what I want to do to him, man. I came in. I came in to this podcast on a wrong day. I think. Wait, start that sentence over. I came in. Your dog's the butt. Welcome to Super Mega Cast. <laughs> it's another fun, crazy episode. Fuck! <laughs> nice, dude. This is fucking bullshit. Start, no. Started with a uh, a perfect classic prank. Oh man, you told All me right, to repeat well, what he said. What, what, classic. You said say, what now? Say the say the last thing that you said. What did I? What? I you but said what now? I can't. I'm not as. You tried, Hunter. I saw you tried to get him back. It didn't quite work <laughs> no. though. I'm too stupid. Here, Hunter, try it one more time. I can't remember what I said. Try it one more time. With who? Do it again. Say the Your dog's butt. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Now I got him. Oh. Can't believe he fell for it. God. Uh, ladies and germs, welcome to the Super Mega Cast. We have a very special guest today. You know him, you love him. You've seen him on the cast before, and if not, maybe you're a new viewer. He's 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 the best guest we've ever had, ever. Hands down. He works for Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. That's right. <laughs> He was actually the lead. <laughs> he was the lead art director on Adventure Time. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pendleton Ward. <laughs> That'd be dope. You can get Pendleton Ward on here. Easy. I doubt it. Easy. Think so? Absolutely. Mr. Adventure Time? Yeah, Mr. Adventure Time. Like a halfway through, or like it was like at its highest, and he's like, mm-hmm. Do you think we could get Zach Galifianakis on? Probably. Or Z's Ansari? Probably. These are all, hey. I think, extremely reasonable things. My mom runs a pickleball podcast, and I'm not even joking. <laughs> In two weeks, literally, I'm not even no. joking. I swear to God. No way. I swear to God. Is it the only one that exists? I was, I'm, I'm going to say the name, and I'm going to cover my mouth so you get, so they can't read okay, it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called <laughs> Okay. Literally. And in two weeks, they're having David Spade on it. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Dude, I was with his mom, she was <laughs> with his mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, uh, she I gotta bleep, bleep all bleep that. All of that. <laughs> all gotta be bleep. It was great wordplay, though. Yeah, it was. It, it, yeah, it was great. Word it wasn't play. anything horrible. No, it, it just it, it would. <laughs> 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 Yo, you know what's crazy, dude? I saw like, I, I found some random podcast uh, where this guy talks about like, <coughs> like music collections, like like cassette tape collections and shit, and he had like, two thousand views, and he fucking had Eminem on as a guest, and yeah. I was like. What? I don't think it's as hard as you think to get some of these people. Especially whenever you have, well, not even if you don't have the size of it. I mean, like, but you guys have a you have a very popular podcast. I did see Adam Freeland. He has guests like Neil deGrasse Tyson yeah. and Matty Healy and Mac DeMarco and, mm-hmm. you know, Binging with Babish. A lot, to, a lot be of- fair, to be fair, that's probably one of the biggest podcasts in the world right now. You know what I didn't do? What? what? You know what I did do today? What? I texted Matt and I said, can I go on your podcast? You texted last night. Because you called me last night. night. You called me last night, yeah. I texted you last night, and I was like, can I go on your podcast? Because you guys never invited me. No. Well, no, wait, 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 hold on. You live in another state. Yeah. So, of course, so, like, I didn't even know you were going to be in town. You called me and said, hey, I'm going to be in town. Can I come on the podcast? I'm a bad guy. I'm a bad guy. If I knew you were going to be in town, if I knew you were going to be in town, I would invite you. But also, I feel like, I feel like it's almost a burden to invite you. Or to invite anyone when they're only in town for a few days. I feel, feel like, like it's like, hey, do you want to come on the podcast? It's like, <sighs> I feel yeah. like you're just using our star power. To help Are you your, abusing us? To help your little channel. That would be good. I would actually love some help. We could give them a couple extra million views per video. I'd like that. Just by putting our name in the title. Yeah. Just uh, next, Ryan. Listen, next next We're, animation you do, just put <clears throat> Super Mega in the title. Just we throw got, it in there. We got one hell of a video that's at 1.2 million views together. It is. Recently has gotten some traction. Blew up on TikTok and you Instagram know, Reels. My favorite uh, comments of those are how to, you know, this is how not to write comedy. <laughs> People basically being like, this is the shittiest thing ever. Oh, I've I was like looking at it because I'm like, my oh, God, this thing has like a fucking million likes on Instagram Reels. Go Holy check shit. it out. And I was like, well, People are sitting there and they're like, you know, this is fucking terrible. <laughs> thing. And I'm like, oh. I well, thought it was funny. Hey, that's all that mattered is a group of boys specifically, uh, came together to create some comedy. It's all that matters. You know, I, I, I read some of the newer comments uh, that came in, and I saw a lot of, I don't know who these guys are, but this is effed up. <laughs> Subscribed, <laughs> stuff like that. And then also a couple people that just didn't like it, didn't think it was very funny, thought it was offensive. You know what? I'm proud of that tune or video. I am too. I am too. You know what I got to say to the people, the new people that think it's offensive? Look at this camera, this one right here. Ryan, you want to join me at the same time? You know what we're going to do, right? Three, two, one. 
F U O. I, I gave him the uh, the old Sorry. the old neener neener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get a little bit of this? I thought you were gonna say F. Yeah, like that. A little. That's if, what I think. If somebody, any new people who want to comment say that they don't like that video, I hope that your family dies in a car wreck. Me too. That's my favorite quote from Wings of Redemption. Really? Oh, that's a great. That's a great clip. It's a great clip. He gets very uh, upset. Whatever. About, I hope your family dies in an automobile accident. Whatever, <laughs> dude. You know, me and Ryan. There were three YouTubers from South Carolina that reigned supreme. Me, Ryan, Wings of Redemption. I well, not anymore. No. Then fucking Carl Jacobs came and just... Carl took off like a goddamn, like a rocket, dude. Dude, you know what's wild about Carl Jacobs was before he made YouTube videos, uh, I would go hang out with a friend and Carl Jacobs would just be over at the friend's house hanging out because he was he was also he was friends with the little brother, so he would just hang out over there. So I I remember like just how seeing old, Carl hold Jacobs. On. How, how old was he, and how was the little brother? Uh, he uh like a senior in high school. And how old was the little brother? Or maybe like a junior in high school or something. How old was the little brother? Same like age, seven. Like oh. so, they they were all like the same age. So like, I would just see Carl Jacobs every now and then around, and then now were you were him. you starstruck? <laughs> Yeah, I, I was incredibly starstruck <laughs> before the fame. Yeah, I looked at him and I said, "Charismatic guy." That's Carl. That's that. That's going to be Carl Jacobs one day. You're going to be big. He's very charismatic. We met him I've, at a party. I've been mm -hmm. doing that. I I met him uh, at the streamer awards, and he was very nice. He tried to get us uh, up to his hotel room, but yeah. we had to decline because we had somewhere else to go. But well, I. It's not just like that. I. Normally, I would have said yes, but it was kind of like, you know, Carl kind of to me and Ryan, the the intent behind the words was what was really, you know, kind of like louder than the words themselves. Yeah. So no, going I, up to the hotel yeah. room was, uh, he kind of like was brushing his hand. He on described my, it as nice and quiet. Yeah. And then he also, just for some reason, he had a bottle of, uh, of red wine. Which uh, I love wine. Wait, it was the say it was the brand that on the podcast you've talked about how much you like and yeah. how you've even said it's almost like an aphrodisiac for you barefoot. and you had it. Uh barefoot red wine. Nineteen crimes. Um mm, but crimes. yeah, Carl he was like, Hey, what do you say the three of us go back up to my Embassy Suites hotel room, maybe split this bottle of nineteen crimes, red wine. Um, you know, maybe listen to a little Hobo Johnson and he was like, All these all these posers aren't even gonna be here next year. <laughs> We're gonna be the ones still standing. <laughs> So. He does. He does. <laughs> in the fucking in the room, he uh, he does that full NPR set with that Peach Scone song. We go up there. He's about to feel so alone <laughs> in his fucking uh, in his fucking uh, hotel room. You imagine, like, imagine a girl going up to a hotel room with a guy thinking that like uh, we're about to have some sex, shoulder. and he goes up and he like has a little keyboard set up. He's like, hey, watch this. <laughs> Hey, Ding. what's your name? How are you? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what happened to him? Was he's he's still big. He's still popular. He's still, he's still kicking, up. man. He's, he's cool. making okay. hundreds and billions of dollars each year. Did he, ever, did, he ever make, uh, did he ever make Did he ever make chocolate muffin? <laughs> what? No, it landed. I liked it. It landed. Chocolate muffin? No, it, Hunter, I guarantee the second you said that, at least 460 people listening went... <laughs> Because it's called, it's the song's called Peach Scone. It's Ugh. another bakery. Bake I, I don't even care about his. Shut I, up, I Ryan. Stuff. Shut up. What? Relax, dude. I get unironically see you being a big Hobo Johnson fan. <laughs> That's a big insult. <laughs> like I can, see, insult. I can see, I can see, man. Yeah, what, you're, what you're mad because you? I don't agree with you. So now you have to insult me by, by, by <laughs> insinuating that I yeah. like Hobo Johnson. Yeah, because you're a piece of shit. What the hell? <laughs> first, yeah. first, this asshole tells this, me to this, shut up. One then time I have the second <laughs> asshole I, berating me. Saw a goddamn fucking kid with y you. Saw a kid walking down the street. And I was like, is that Ryan? And he had the big safety helmet on, the bib, you know, the Pokemon Go walking around. <laughs> the bad thing about the new shinies is that they're just blue. It should be green, but it's blue. <laughs> well, it's uh, granted. Some you, that's them, what some you just said as well, soon as Hunter, you walked in. Hunter, the problem is that some of them like, are green to start with, and then Dude, they, they, you the evolve them, actually, and they change into a different color palette what do you, what do you actually very get similar out of Pokemon to the, Go. What do you actually get out of it? Exercise. Yeah, that's not the only reason you like it, though. There's something. It's not the only reason it's the I joy like of collecting. But that's like, why you, you asked me what I got out. I'm of afraid. It. Well, no, no, no. I had no, no but that you're, that's, you're, because you're, you're trying to make a positive answer out of it. Really, it's a, you have a bad. Why way. would you, I? Why, you get I, addicted. You get addicted to things. I do easily. get addicted. And you need to confront that right now. It's an addiction that's led to a positive outcome. Absolutely not.
How not? Oh, really? Just well, describe to me how it's not a positive outcome. You kept barking at that girl across the street when you were walking up the road. Yeah. The, the woman, girl. No, it was a girl. Looks, it wasn't a woman. Looks 36. Mm, seven. Looks seven. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm going to Ryan right on this one. She looked at least 22. You guys, I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to say anything else, but if you guys think that's what that looks like, I don't even want to know the kind of girls you're bringing home. Hunter, here, I'll, let me interject here, okay? All right, let me let me interject. It's the joy of collecting. It's the joy of of adventure. Of of what 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 am I going to see today on this app? You don't I agree have no with idea. the fact that I like a Pokemon, a, a, a mobile Pokemon game. So your first reaction is to call me a. I'm calling you a because that's you were what losers barking and do. trying to grab at the girl down the road. That had nothing to do with the game. Really. Woman, it, it, it was a woman. He Clearly. was trying. He was barking and trying to grab the woman. Okay. On the sidewalk. Just because she had a caretaker doesn't mean that she was, she just probably just was like, Britney Spears had to have a caretaker. Exactly, exactly. Connor, you looked like the, the monkey from Planet of the Apes. Which which one? Because the, the, there's the different first one. universe. The, the first Caesar? one. The, the Caesar. Because Caesar? when there's okay. the first scene when Caesar sits there and they're like, they're like grabbing at him and stuff. And that was kind of the people who were pulling you away. And he does that part where he's like, no! Like that part's that. so sick. That's that, really that, that part's badass. When he evolves, I was about, I was gonna be probably slightly offended if you said it was like the Tim Burton uh, Planet of the Apes. Oh God, with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, I haven't Wait, seen that one in so long. Tim Burton did a Planet of the Apes movie with Mark I think Wahlberg in 2003. Yeah, I had no idea Tim Burton did a Planet of the Apes movie. <laughs> it was so poorly received because it was supposed to be a new franchise. <laughs> Paul Giamatti as as a monkey. What? Yeah, Paul Giamatti as a full monkey, and he's <laughs> yeah. just like, he's like, I can't believe you have to address the council. <laughs> You'll have to address the council. They, like, they can't move much. They can't emote really no. at all. In, and then in Mark Wahlberg just confused all the time. <laughs> what? What? Are you what? kidding me? Like him, him in the happening is just him in that movie. It's Could the such same a thing character. be really happening? Man, so many people. It, you know, it's weird. It's, it's it's people either know exactly how to do a Mark Wahlberg impression, or they have they they know what he sounds like, but they cannot replicate it. There's nobody who can kind of do one. It's you either nail it, and you're like, whoa, like like Matt Stitch impression. It's, I do a good Stitch impression. Want to hear it? Yeah. What should I say? Mark Wahlberg, you're a monkey man. Mark Wahlberg, you're a monkey man. Right? Isn't That's that good, right? That's very good. What well, you like you could do better. Who's Stitch? Stitch, you're a, you, you're a fucking poser, Stitch. That's like that's actually pretty fucking good. <laughs> Un unironically, that's pretty good. So what am I gonna have to knock your fucking lights out or something? I have to fucking knock your knock your Vietnamese lights out. Come on, that, that sounds that, a little raspy. Some of, some of the uh, some of the uh, Planet of the Apes posters though is uh, is they're edited because of the crimes he did to that v poor poor Vietnamese person. Uh, multiple Vietnamese persons. Yeah, it's rise of the Vietnamese fucking shits because his the police report says that he's like, yeah, I punched that Vietnamese fucking piece of shit. Whatever. That was in the police report. Oh yeah, he just doubled down. Yeah, he wasn't like, oh I. He beat that person up so badly. No, he, he meant it. He meant to beat them up. Yeah, I know. But if but you if you go on Google Images, you will see there's tons. And, Dude, he, and, and like it's in there. It's a rise of the Vietnamese fucking shits, and it's him like running, and it's like Vietnamese people on like motorcycles. And it's like and at the bottom of the poster just says like "You better run." Dude, it's actually insane that like I mean, we talk about this a lot. I think we've brought up the Mark Wahlberg hate crime thing quite a few times on many episodes he has over a the prayer years. garden now so. he does I, 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 I mean and he probably, does tiktoks you, of you, prayers you've probably already well we can get into mark Wahlberg. i mean i you probably have talked about this but he will not apologize i prayed about it that's all he'll say hey has man he, like, has he never apologized literally i don't he apologize he has, to the man upstairs that's all that matters well he's just like i just you know that's let bygones be bygones let bygones be bygones he's just like you know hey, what more I like pray. let saigons be saigons right Wordplay, Vietnamese Saigon. Okay, yeah. poor taste. I'm sorry. Okay, but he was just too clever. To I like uh, Mark Wahlberg now and all this stuff. He's trying to promote this like really shitty, like uh, athletic wear brand, and he just like wears at his home gym. But he wears it all in, in every public. He's like, he's like, you know, it's all about marketing and reputation. And it's him like going outside, and his like daughter's like trying to get in frame. He like grabs her fucking head and like pushes her out of the way. Get back, sweetheart. Back. See, I've only Get seen back, the videos on. of him in his prayer garden talking about how important it is to be spiritual, like, to have spiritual yeah. awareness. I saw a video of him in his prayer garden. I didn't even know it was him until he turned around. He's like... He, <laughs> it starts with him turning around. He's, he's like, literally he's like one of those. Like, <laughs> you gotta pray every morning. I love you, 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 I love you. You gotta pray to God to keep it keep it in check. You gotta pray to God. I mean, he, like, walks off camera. Keep those Vietnamese people away from me. Yeah, you know, I can't you gotta, control myself <laughs> around them. You gotta pray to keep them away. <laughs> I see what it's like. It's like Five Nights at Freddy's. You get a freaking jump scare. What'd you guys think of the Five Nights at Freddy's teaser? 
sick. Okay, because you had involvement with the project, does that mean are we allowed to talk about it? Like, in however way we want? I actually don't think people realize that I actually had a part in that, in making it. Well, yeah, you, you help design what they look like in the film. Mm-hmm. And you help with the casting. <laughs> and, let's be honest, I mean, you did some co-directing. <laughs> Why did that make you break? Because it's ridiculous. Josh wow, that I would, ne- that I would never get that. That role. you would be trusted by a major motion picture studio <laughs> as a casting director. If that movie, and then you chose a fucking what's his name, Josh, Josh Hutcherson. Is it Hutcherson or Hutchinson? Hutchinson. Sorry, sorry. You know, no, it might be Hutcherson. You know Which favorite, one is it? You know what my favorite Hutchinson, Josh Hutcherson movie is Hunger what? Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay, Mockingjay Part Part Two, Bridge to Terabithia. No, no, yes, yeah, because that lesbian atheist what drowns at the end. Remember. My dad got mad at me because I showed him that movie, actually. The girl's an atheist. She's like, I don't believe in God, whatever. And I remember, like, all oh, the yeah. religious gr- girls in my school are like, I don't like this movie. And then, they, yeah, she drowns at the end. He's like, okay. what, what happened to her? They're like, she drowned. First, way to spoil Bridget Terabithia. Two, I don't think she was a lesbian, maybe an atheist, but not a lesbian. Three, it's the only she movie I've ever seen my dad die in. I mean, crying. Fuck. God, you, you threw me off with the eating pussy comment. It's the only movie I've ever seen my she dad cry in. She does the Disney uh, ear thing. <laughs> is that she, eating pussy? No, no. That's, that's what they call it. Yeah. <laughs> let me finish. Have you ate pussy yet? Oh yeah, I got my Mickey Mouse ears in. That's what I do every time I have. Every time I I got laid in school, I'd be like, oh, when I do. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but what dun, were you saying? Dun. With a uh, one of those fucking uh, fire, what, what the fuck is sparklers? The girls in the bed like screaming because it's like so bright <laughs> in the room. <laughs> she wasn't a lesbian. I don't. I, I won't. I won't have this bridge to Terabithia she slander. She eats pussy in the movie, though. Why no, do you keep saying that, dude. She's like she does. She's what like eleven in the movie. About? What are you talking about? It's a <laughs> movie about two children. <laughs> no. Yes. yes it are is. you thinking of a different it's movie? It's based off of a book about two children. Oh, I think I'm thinking of a different movie. He's thinking of. Are a, you thinking of Black Swan? No. <laughs> what Josh the? Hutchinson's not in Black Swan. What are you? No, th- I'm talking about the. It's the fucking movie with Josh Hutchinson, and it's like this blonde-haired woman, and they like are girl. Blonde, and Child, they have, and they have a. There's a river. <laughs> yes, that, and she falls in it. They're not. They're, they're that's bridge children, to terror. But then she eats pussy. No, she does there's not. No pussy eating scene in bridge to terror. No pussy eating scene. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe there's a it's that director's you. cut. <laughs> <laughs> say, it's probably. I, I have a Criterion cut of the movie, so maybe that's what it is. <laughs> Criterion Blu-ray. <laughs> that's the theatrical. You know, movie. I don't believe in God, right? <laughs> Co-directed by Roman <laughs> Polanski. <laughs> probably yes. Yeah. They snuck him back I in the states for that one. I wanted to make something beautiful. With children. <laughs> I don't think that's what he sounds like at all, but still. What does he sound like? Uh, hey. That's probably closer to what he sounds like. That's what I imagine. Roman Plancy is the guy who did uh, Rosemary's Baby, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a classic. He also did, uh, <laughs> uh I can't remember. Black Snake Moan. Sure, yeah. Did he do that? No, he didn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was about this with he Roman Plancy's back with Black oh, Snake Moan. He also did a uh, uh, minor. <laughs> did he? Yeah. Wait, what? What is he? Is he a criminal? Right. You can't. You can't pull the straight face on me for this one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I gotta leave the country now. Oops. Yeah, and he got away with it. And Tarantino's like, God, God, come on. But you know, those are European standards, man. She was down for it. Come on. Like when talking about a thirteen-year-old on like an actual interview, it wasn't just Tarantino. You know, a lot of people signed like a like a fucking list or petition that's like, we love Roman. He made good movies, dude, okay? Name three. Five. Rosemary's Baby. Birds of Terabithia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the director's uh, cut. Yeah, Criterion Collection. <laughs> you, Me, and Dupree. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be awesome. And then he also directed Zathura. He had, like, a long-lasting <laughs> reputation with <laughs> Josh Hutchinson. <laughs> it's like Jumanji, but space. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to describe that movie. That's all it is, yeah. It's a great movie. Or, okay, remember. well, when I saw it as a kid, it was a great movie. What's that fucking dude's name that plays the older brother? He was, like, popular for, like, five years. Dax Shepard? Yes. He's, he, he has, like, a huge podcast right now. I'm talking about, like, in movies. Oh, yeah, he was in... I remember, right, exactly, around that time, one of my favorite movies when I grew up, when I was growing up was Without a Paddle. Oh, yep. yes. I thought that was like one of the funniest With movies Seth ever. Seth Green. Had yeah, yeah. Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Mm. Uh, Matthew uh, Lillard. Yes. Matthew Willard. Lillard. Like that. Lillard or Willard. One I, of the I two. He's in Fanatic. Seth movie. Green. Oh, he, he is. is yeah. He is. He is. Good job on that one. You're welcome. 
You know what they actually, you know what they would have, <laughs> if, if they were fucking smart, they would just have Markiplier. Like, be now, the I don't want to, we don't want to, we hit, I don't want to, let's just say maybe we could have lived in a universe. We could have lived in a universe where that was the case, but perhaps maybe he didn't want to do Someone it. Someone thought it would be artistically compromising. Did Markiplier think it'd be artistically compromising? Well, I didn't say that. We didn't say that he ever thought. I that. never said you did. I'm just trying to. I'm, I'm asking a question. Okay. Well, I don't. I you're getting really very answer. fucking I'm not, defensive. I'm, I'm, we're, not, we're not getting defensive. I'm you're, not you're, Markiplier. I wouldn't know what's in his head. So <laughs> you started off by saying like you had information. Like, I'm it was a hypothetical. First of all, it was. We made it very clear it was a hypothetical. Like it, hypothetically, if Ryan and I knew him at one point, you know, but we we don't. So didn't. didn't. So why don't you come off it, Hunter? <laughs> Is Jack Septic guy in the movie too? He was in Free Guy. Uh, I don't know, Hunter. You did the casting. Is he? Guy? He's in it. Who I is this blue shirt guy? On my uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> is that your Jack Septic guy impression? I thought it was. Really was that good. dead? No, I just. just, no, just I was like, man, this Mid Kenyan guy's <laughs> nightmare it's, fuel. It's not. It's it's no Stitch impression. <laughs> I know it's it's not even. <laughs> Close to my stitch impression, but man, this guy, it's like fucking Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh, Jack, why, why would you say he sounds like Mickey Mouse? That's a, that's very insulting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, that's probably I mean, true. this guy's the baby cartoon. It's something else. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I saw that on Twitter the other day. What? A clip of your the baby cartoon? Yeah, sorry. Sorry. And last I, night we I, love your shit, dude. The the baby one was what are you hilarious. I remember being outside in the little common area at the Super Megaplex, and you were showing us the fucking storyboard for the baby cartoon, and I was going, ah! It's very funny. Okay, you're not proud of it. Have you ever... Are you proud of anything you do? How about the... the, the oh, what's his name? The recent... The he's, yeah, he's left a pretty impressionable... Melville? Yeah. See? I just forgot his name. I'm sorry. I don't know too many... Melvin. Melvin. Melville's. Mm. Me, 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 some okay. Melson. I need to be better with making a more... And he needs to have a better impression. Maybe it's Melvin. put some symbols in his hands. Melvin Mer- can do this a little bit. Macabre, right? Have you ever thought about maybe like a 3D, like the Mario movie, like Illumination type style? Okay, Hunter. You know, <laughs> I go to the bank. Uh, I would like two hundred fifty million dollars to make a movie, please. What for? Uh, I have this like kind of cool character that. He gets into kind of wacky show on your Twitter page. Like, yeah, I tweet out things and they get like 600 likes sometimes. <laughs> Melvin Macabre, right? That's right. That's right. See That's right. I appreciate it. Melville. I don't know why I thought Melville. <laughs> Sounded good. Should have been his name. Yeah. yeah. Probably, probably would have remembered it. <laughs> probably. See, I remembered Melville it even good. though it wasn't right. If oh. it had been that, I would have been correct. And that's oh. on you for not making it that. I know. Yeah. So. Oh, you're smoking. I thought you were like, looking at me like that. Ronnie, puffing on that pixie stick? How's it taste? How's that shit? So puff that shit. <clears throat> I just had the scene. He's good. Okay, cool. Cool. You know what else is good? Ad reads. That's right. Let's go. You have that shit timed out. You just know. We yeah. just know. And now we're going to ad reads. Dumbass. <laughs> come on, yeah, man. Yeah, come on, man. Gotcha. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Anyway. Now we're going to ad reads. <laughs> you can't do it again. Can't. I'm not going to do it again. We're in ad reads right now. Are we? And yes, we are. I'm going to get another drink. Or are we in ad reads now? No. No. Oh. We're in ad reads now. Oh, you should have just made that your this entire podcast. It should have just been that. Me being like, uh, <laughs> we, we never talk about anything because you're just like waiting. Like, is it ad reads? Or? <laughs> yeah. It is now. Go to ad reads. Go, go to ad reads. <laughs> Can we can we actually just make that the whole episode? Sure. That would actually After be so these fun. ad reads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. After these ad Whether you're searching for the latest sneaker drop, that iconic handbag, a timeless watch, or your next piece of classic jewelry, eBay authenticators are there verifying every detail of your purchase. Yup. We're talking every inch, stitch, tick, facet and clasp that make the piece you're searching for worthy of your collection. eBay's authenticators are experts in their craft, true connoisseurs. 
And as leaders in their fields, they're making sure your items always arrive as authentic as your style. So go ahead, get that piece you've always wanted and leave it up to the meticulous eyes of an eBay authenticator to make sure that watch movement is original, that glimmer is real gold, that rare sneaker is legit, or that handbag is really made of genuine leather and never get faked over again. In a world full of fakes, it's time to get real with eBay Authenticity Guarantee because everyone deserves real. Visit ebay.com for terms. He picked Justin up. Justin was in a little dress with a bond. He, like, tied up in rope, and he put Justin over his shoulder and, like, carried him across the field. It was fun. Welcome I, back, everyone. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, people people will know what we're talking about in due time. <laughs> Luke, make sure you were on uh, our guest when we came back in. <laughs> I, <laughs> I tr- I, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> what was he? Wait, what was he doing? I missed mid yawn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on! This whole this whole time we're just been goofing around, having some fun. Are you embarrassed? Cracking some. Sillies? We can do embarrassing things if it makes you like even. No, it's field. fine. I'm. No, you obviously you're upset though. Are you actually upset? I can tell. You went. You went. Oh, it's fine. It's I mean, you didn't finish the sentence. And you did a hand. Uh, I thought you had thicker skin, especially after the Charlie the Chocolate thing. <laughs> I, I can't even. I can't even like before you said anything. I started smiling because I'm like, whatever Ryan's gonna say is gonna make me laugh. <laughs> Which was a good video. Matt was in. <laughs> oh, I see. I okay, Ryan. What? <laughs> I want to do more voices in your cartoons. The cartoons are done. That's not true. You released one literally yesterday. That's not true. It was the Tanamangi cartoon. I'm always at the pulse of what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> How offensive, dude. She's had a comeback, right? She has, I think. She has a podcast that's a lot more successful than ours, yeah. I bet. I'm sure she's had come on her back. <laughs> this pounded sorry. man. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just stop straight just, facing me. It's just funny, you know, the, the straight man. Not that you know that should be the only man in the room. <laughs> we got hundred. We need more voices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's for your cartoons, right? So I can do it. Fuck. I can do that, right? Hey, you want? <laughs> hey, if you fucking want, yeah, you can voice in one of my yeah, cartoons. You know, maybe you want to be in one. Go ahead. We asked you to be in something of ours. You don't want Matt to do something, you know. Dude, I got great. You heard my Stitch impression? You could do a Stitch I lo- cartoon. I loved, I loved it. The new live action Stitch is coming out. You could maybe whip up something. Maybe he's. Are they actually doing a yes. live action Lilo and Stitch? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Isn't that nuts? That is kind of weird. Weird. Well, it's a gr- it's a great movie from the early two thousands that got a lot of traction. I guess if anything, it's an alien. So if they tried to make it look real, it would be kind of cool. It's gonna look awful. Oh really? I was I was just that whole me defending it was a bit. I'm sorry. I can wait. I'm gonna I'm I gonna look into the future. Okay. Idea. I'm gonna look into the future. <clears throat> I'm gonna wake up one morning and see on Twitter when they've announced the design of what Stitch is gonna look like. It's gonna be a whole Sonic all over it. And then it's gonna be, just for the next two days, just nothing but memes about outrage and memes about how bad Stitch looks. who edits our videos, uh, go check out his channel. Nothing but memes. Mm Mm-hmm, yep. Yep. So, there it is. I looked into the future. I'm an oracle. I'm a soothsayer, as they say. Are you guys big Sonic fans? No. Uh, I played, like, a little bit growing up, (gasps) and I was, like, a fan for, like, a year, you know, when you're, like, Kid, and you're hardcore into something, whether it's yeah. Digimon or Pokemon. Uh, Justin, however, I would say is the Office Sonic super fan. And if you asked him any question about its lore or games or anything like that, he'd he'd probably have an answer for you. Yeah, he played Son- <laughs> he played Sonic 06 on the channel for us last time because we never play the Sonic games. He's played all the Sonic games for us, but. What? Why was it so awkward and silent after <laughs> yeah. I said, yeah, it was just, because yeah, and it, everyone looked at me. Well, because it wasn't a response. Well, I thought that you were, I was, I just, thought, I was agreeing with Ryan, I was like, I yeah. Thought, I, thought gonna, <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else, and I was like, yeah. No, I, it was like, no like, substance. Ryan, Ryan yes. what Ryan said, I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then he was just staring at me, and then you looked at me, and I'm sorry that I can't be more. I'm sorry that I can't be what you want me to be, Hunter. Okay? <laughs> I, I think you're you're exactly who I want you to be. Hunter, did you get yourself an alcoholic beverage? No. 
Are you off the? Are you off the sauce? I'm off the booze. I Why? just you literally were like right before we started. I had, didn't a, drink. Have a drink before I started here. And we got the booze for you. We normally don't drink for these things. I didn't. I'm sorry. I don't I drink that often, actually. You know. I don't either. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't look sorry. You look like you're trying to feign like sincerity. Wouldn't that be gross if that was like my natural? <laughs> <laughs> that was, a, it would put that was a fucked up face. <laughs> Looks like you're holding so you're back like a tears. burn victim or something, right? Let me see. Well, usually a burn victim has grafted skin on their face. I kind of look like I have grafted skin. My beard is really messed up. You don't look like you have grafted skin in the slightest. Put no, put, put, don't picture don't, me, and then right beside it, Luke, split, Luke, don't split, put a burn don't. victim's split face. Split my on face right down the middle, and then put a grafted skin, and you're not. You won't even be able to tell the difference. Whatever Luke put, I'm assuming, was not a picture of a burn victim. <laughs> I'm hoping wasn't. We'll have to have a stern talking to if he did. Or it could be uh, maybe like a burn victim from a TV show or movie. That's disrespectful still. Maybe it could be like Two-Face from Batman. I like Two-Face from Batman. Which which one? Tommy Lee Jones? or I kind of uh, like the animated series one. He had purple skin. Yeah, that was cool. He's like this. And he did that. You look like Trollface right now. Like real life troll face. Yeah, 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 a, yeah, yeah. You had it. You did it for a if second. If you had a beard, Chad tr uh, tr troll face. Ooh, <sighs> bitch. Who? What? Chad troll face? Yeah. What about it? What is that? It's cool. Memes. I feel so. This is the first time I've been on this podcast, and I feel like I just don't understand what's happening. Why? <laughs> because you're confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's no on God, <laughs> bruh. No cap for real, Hunter. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I like what you're doing with the with the side of your of your head. It was a mistake. Have you well, seen no, Ant it looks Man great. Quantum Mania. Hmm? Have you seen Ant Man? Quantum Mania uh, hmm. with Paul Rudd. Um, oh, who's that guy's name? He has gray hair and glasses. Jimmy Fuck. Carter. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even have glasses. That'd be pretty crazy. Jimmy like a Carter. fucking cameo from Jimmy Carter in Ant Man: Quantumania. Here's to you, Ant Man. I don't even know if he could talk. Anymore. I don't even know. No, if he could... Is he dead? Didn't he die? I, no, no, he's he's, in, he's been in hospice for like four months. I don't know if he dude. can make a single breath without a machine at this point. <clears throat> Just let him go. I know. Just let him pass away peacefully. Yeah. Or throw him off a building. No peace. <laughs> <laughs> it was his wishes. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he, I mean, come on. If you took him off the machine, that it was the family's be, wishes. <laughs> I don't know if he'd be peaceful. He'd be choking and gasping for air. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you take him off a machine if he's still conscious. Yeah, but the off the building thing—that's that's humane and quick. <laughs> Hilarious <laughs> to see like just naked <laughs> or just like in a hospital gown, Jimmy Carter getting flung he's off. He's being a like building. carried like this. He's just. It's like at the end of Big Fish. I mean, you, throw him, <laughs> yep. you throw him like this, so he's kind of like spinning in the air like that. <laughs> But that breeze catches him and he starts going up instead of <laughs> He's like, what are those leaves for? What, what, like the little, uh, they have like the little seed in them and you throw them and they do. <laughs> and they fly. He flies like that and they catch some wind and he flies around and he just <laughs> right into a car. <laughs> just a parked car. Just <laughs> He's kind of like the feather from Forrest Gump. Just kind of. <laughs> with a nice uh, Alan Silvestri soundtrack. You guys do a good uh, Forrest. Yeah, we do. My uh, my wife, I catch her watching some of your clips, and she wa she watches the. Uh, that was a Borat impression. Sorry, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I thought <it> that one. <laughs> I, I yeah. So, that. in other words, your wife's been watching some super mega. She clips. watches the Sekiro. Uh, what is it? Uh, the for the Lieutenant Dan Sekiro clip. Hmm. She watches that. She just a lot. pulls it up a lot. Hmm? It's like one clip that she just pulls up. Constantly. She likes that one a lot. Yeah. Where uh, Lieutenant Dan, you know, has been learning Japanese. Are right. We, That's a classic one. Uh, it's been, a very good bit. To be honest, has there been a time where you've kind of reached over, tried to start something, and... Sorry, no, I'm watching, I'm watching Super <laughs> yeah. Mega Baby. <laughs> it's, it's dark in the room. She turns over, the light goes on, and I just hear your laugh, and then I just hear, uh, yeah, like, Utoshiba, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> and then I get it, though, and I laugh with her. <laughs> Hunter like rolls over in bed. He's, he's like half chub, kind of reaching over, playing, playing, playing with a little bit of skin. Stop it! <laughs> 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 I thought she was, but to the day, but 
Stop, Hunter. Stop my face looks like I'm bad. <laughs> Just to go back, go, go back to sleep. She says, A after the video. But it's the whole Let's Play. <laughs> it's the entire series of like six <laughs> hours. I've been with my, my wife for so long now that... Yeah, me too. Anytime I sit there... And <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm a, I, I'm a, I, I'm a helpless pup. This this episode, dude. I'm getting taken advantage of. I'm sorry, Hunter. We'll we'll put you on the back burner. We're just we're shooting shots because you know it's. I'm sorry. You want to shoot some shots at us? Fire. You want to shoot some you shots at fire? us? This is why this podcast is such a fucking dynamic explosion. Thank you. I love it. Do you do you do you really enjoy coming I listen, on? I listen to it. Do you? Mm? Do you think we've we've um? Do you not believe that? You look like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't trust when anyone that we know says that they listen to our podcast. I like listening to my friends' stuff. Every now and then. I like seeing what all of my friends are doing, like, creatively. It makes me feel inspired to make stuff. Me too. So you're going to be in our video. Yeah, well, the one, I'd have to fly here, I think, was the problem. So we'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. Well, okay, I mean, sick. I think it's less of that. <laughs> I, think it's just, yeah, I think it's less of that. I think it's just more of, like, timing and stuff. We're going to Vegas. I have that planned. Yeah, like five years from now. I'm, I'm yeah, talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, making content. It about. sounds like he's trying to distance himself from us. Are we not? Like, I've, like I've, no, no, I've, Hunter, I've, be honest. I've asked, I've begged for you guys to come to me. I don't remember oh, I any begging. Before. I remember some asking. Not a single beg, though. <laughs> well, Hunter, it's my version of begging. Are we, like, have we fallen off? Like, are we not cool in the YouTube scene anymore? And you just kind of want to distance yourself a little bit? bit by, like, slowly, you know? I if, if you guys have fallen off, I have fallen off dramatically. Which you have not. So. Well, we don't know that. I will say I have been finding a lot of new peace in my life with my second channel. Yeah, it's great. It's really great. I get to just basically talk about horror movies. Why don't you tell the Do people you... about that, that second channel? Because a lot of people know your cartoons. A lot of people. Tons of people. I even have high school friends that have hit me up before about you. So why don't you tell them about the second channel? I just talk about horror horror movies what's what's the most recent horror movie you've seen doom annihilation what did you think it was very bad in a f <laughs> it's bad it's bad. It's a bad movie. I, 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 I mostly watch bad movies. Is that what I was saying? <laughs> I, was pretty, I, was I don't know. Pretty, I was I was, I was trying pretty to... grossed out by what you just did. <laughs> you know, like, I actually thought you died. My throat. I thought, I thought you just Every, died for a second. I was drinking some water to clear my no, throat. No. One of the most basic nah, things a like human gag. can do for survival. You like gagged. I gross. thought you were doing this shit where, like, when you're trying not to throw up and someone's talking, and you just have to like, stop, stop, just <laughs> so you can focus on not throwing up. <laughs> I was trying not to choke. On oh, what? The water. Went oh. down the wrong pipe. Oh, okay. No, it didn't. If it went into your lungs, you'd be on the ground fucking writhing and wiggling like a fucking worm. I'm a man, so I would not be wiggling like a worm. Earthworm Jim. Does he have a penis? Show me a penis. I bet <laughs> Earthworm Jim has a cock. Yeah, Doubt it. Yeah, he does. Looks like a cock. He's he a big fucking bulge. Big pecs and abs and arms those are all probably plastic silicone <clears throat> if you if you could get a plastic silicone cock hard though and you could come with it is that still does it not make it a cock? i thought you were about to ask if 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 you would if you could sculpt the cock of my dreams and it's like a silicone cock would i would i do that would you probably i mean imagine you get to make the perfect penis oh that'd be sick you know what's the perfect penis what's the perfect penis look like I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like when it's you got a see head. it, you know. So, well, how about this? Circumcised or uncircumcised? Definitely circumcised. Circumcised? Yeah. I don't want that extra. It's, it's Take that fucking hoodie off. I don't want to get it in cotton between people's teeth, you know? Mm. I just hate when I said just the idea of like somebody have to peel back skin. Yeah, no. the head of my cock and lick it. I don't trust my own hygiene enough for that. Yeah, there's probably lint in there. I sit there, some days I sit in my chair and I just smell myself because I'm like, I haven't showered in like two days. Well, then you should probably yeah, you, shower, like get up, probably get that, stop like, sitting down, you should stand up and then go take a shower. That ball it's smell wafting up. You know? It's disgusting. That moisture from my sweat between my taint, my balls and stuff trapped in my Hanes underwear, that little section. <laughs> Do you get a little rash in your bum bum? Mm, not my bum bum, but like my th inner thighs. 
Why the fuck is our audience only 20% women? I don't know. That's a pretty high percentage, actually. What do you mean? It's not an, pretty, it's, it's, it's not an accurate fit. percentage of the demographic of women in, in the world, which I would like. I for, would like for, for a couple rowdy boys, you know, channel seems pretty good. There's a lot of the channels on, on YouTube, if you look at their analytics, it's like 90%, 95% men. Listen, we're trying to get it back to just the boys, yeah. you know? No girls allowed, what would, what, what, what could you say right now that would get all the female listeners out of here? And just get the boys back in. Um, this one is a secret that only boys are allowed to hear. See, now they can't. Now they have to mm. exit out of the video. Click out the, If you're a girl, click out the video. Go what ahead. If, what if she's lying? What do you say to a woman that's lying to you? Stop. Oh, I just call that a woman. <laughs> you got to be firm and, and tell her to stop. Say, say, look at her and say, look, look at me. Do this, do this. Stop lying to me. And if she laughs at you like you're doing now, mm -hmm. stand up. Stop. <laughs> Stop <laughs> laughing at me, asshole. You fuck. <laughs> Stop. Hey. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Look at me. I got someone to fuck with, buddy. Hey. Hey, no, 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 no. I'll take that nose and break it, Buster. My friend's a man. You won't talk to him that way. With my fucking fist. I had a, I there was like there was a special need kids in my school when I was in fourth grade, and this is actually really funny because in the library I, I had a Chronicles of Narnia book, and he stood up by me like this. He stood up by me like this, and he did. I don't like that book. It sounded exactly like how you're talking. That's a huge flashback. I don't like that book. In my school, we had color-coordinated corners in the, in the elementary. And he was like, I'm from Peach Corner. I'm from Peach Corner. I don't like that book. I was like, then don't read it. And he smacked it on my hands, and I was like, holy shit. I'm gonna get, this guy's going to fucking kill me right now. As a kid, you know. That's a bad book. Uh, Did he kill you? No. Mm. He, he, that was actually one of the kids, though. He stopped going to our school. They had to sedate him one time because he was freaking out. <laughs> it feels like feels like, like they took out like this like metallic silver gun. No, it was <laughs> it was like green fluid. No, it was uh, it was very reminiscent of like in a movie, a very stereotypical movie where it's like an asylum and like the doctors with scrubs run out and they would come up and they syringe him. They had to do that. We had a we had a like Cause a, it's because you brought the second Narnia book to school. Yeah, I brought a fucking uh, Prince of Caspian. <laughs> Prince Caspian, sorry. C.S. Lewis is it's not my of Cap. It, it's the character's name. It's not. What was the second one called? Prince Caspian, right? No, no there's. Or was that the third one? It was the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Then there was like the the I can't remember the Just Winter wo Woman. The Winter Woman. That's probably that's, that sounds right. <laughs> the the Winter Woman. That sounds about right, honestly. The, the Jester's woman. Knaves. The, the Jester's <laughs> Knaves. The fucking the Castle of Secrets. I but you know, know they had to they had to sedate him. So it's a Harry Potter book. The Harry Castle. Potter and the Castle of Secrets. Harry Potter. And the about, you guys have anything weird happen in a library before? I feel like I've had a lot of weird stuff happen in libraries. Dude, I saw a guy looking at porn in the library once on just one of the public computers, and he was just fucking just looking at porn, just. Hey, you can't student. beat him, join him. I should have. I should have joined him. Saw a girl, like, throw up, and people were, like, laughing. She was reading. Hunter uh, was laughing. No, everybody was laughing. I was laughing, and too. And you're I'm laughing. Not, but she was reading Lemony Snicket's Series of Fortunate Events. Great this, book series. The second one, the Reptile House one. She was sitting yep. there, she did. She did. Oh! It threw up. And we were like, ha-ha, she threw up, blah, blah, like kids do. And she kept throwing up blood. What? And she would throw up more blood. And she had to go. She missed like two years of school. She was really sick. Did, with, Pop with quiz. Who was their uncle's name in the second novel? Who was their uncle that had the reptile house? I know it. I know the answer. But I'm seeing if either of you, you can buzz in and go buzz, buzz, buzz. You know, the only reason I'd know this is because of the Jim Carrey, Lemony Snicket movie. I don't, I don't know, Ryan. I don't know. You don't know? I don't. Do you know? Professor. No. Nope. It's Uncle. uncle. Sleepover, the super mega show that's exclusively on Patreon. There's that too. Uncle Remus. Uh, how about how about this? Maybe 
<clears throat> Close. I'll give you one hint. One hint. Larry the Cable Guy. No. Starts. Not Larry the Cable Guy. With an L? I want to make sure that's out of your fucking head. Lord, I apologize. Is that a bit that Larry the Cable Guy <clears throat> does? Oh, absolutely. Starts with. So the uncle starts with the letter M. That's his name. Maurice. Uncle? No. That sounds like a barbecue restaurant. Uncle Maurice? Well, it's a. It's a Maurice! Right, yeah, from Madagascar? Uncle. Mm. Cedric the Entertainer. Uncle. Maybe Mill. not. Uncle. Uncle Moo. Matthew Watson. Not Uncle. No. <clears throat> it's Uncle Monty. You didn't give me a lot, like a long time to guess. Wait, is that a reference to Monty Python? Because think he has the fucking reptile. Pop quiz question number two. The extremely deadly whatever fucking snake in the book. What was the big, what was the big, um, what happened? It, <laughs> the look on Hunter's face. He's just like, stop. What are you doing? Isn't he just like wrapped up in some books or something like that? What happens to him? The snake? Yeah. Well, the snake turns out because it's called the incredibly deadly viper. It turns out to not be incredibly deadly. It was named uh, just as a joke. Dude, it's you know actually incredibly docile. And they use that because Count Olaf was uh, masquerading as a professional and claimed that it was deadly. And then when he found, then, you know, when the professional was like, it's not deadly, he looked like a fucking idiot. Count Olaf always just, you know. He has that tattoo he, on his ankle. Hunter has the same tattoo. <laughs> He got he got it because of the books. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. Odds are, some, some odds are you people, get the same tattoo as Count Barnes, Olaf. People at Barnes I'll and Noble. I'll pay for it. People at Barnes and Noble have the Deathly Hollows tattoo yeah. on their neck, so and the one guy pulls through with the, with the Count Olaf tattoo <laughs> on their ankle. I'm a big I'm a big uh, bookworm myself. Like what is that? Count Olaf, Lemony Snicket, series of unfortunate events. Right, right. We only got one movie. Odds are you get a tattoo though. Did he ever? Uh, did, did he try to marry the little girl though? Right. Okay. I. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll put a bookmark in that. Ryan has brought up <laughs> right multiple times <laughs> that what are the odds that you get? I'll pay for it. The 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 <laughs> Count Olaf tattoo in the same spot on your body. I'd probably do that. <laughs> and we'll pay for it. Okay. I'll, I'll do fifty fifty with Ryan. We'll both pay I for mean, it. It's a fuck, I I could pay for it myself. That's not the point though. Oh yeah. If I did it though, would you do it? No, no, it did. What are the odds? What are the I odds? Didn't lose the odds. You did. Oh, I thought and we're like talking like tomorrow, one. like while you're still in LA. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> I would. I wouldn't waste four hours of my life. Waste dude. four hours, dude. It would take. He'd I guarantee there thirty you. minutes. Thirty I'd, minutes. I'd chill with dude, you, dude. The drive over. They would have to. No, they would. They would draw it up on paper because they're like, oh, let me see if I can do it. No, you could Put send them a PNG on. and they'll print it on like special paper and then. Well, no, I could draw it. <laughs> yeah, Ryan that gets would, to draw. That, that would be cooler. Okay, so odds are. <laughs> no, I that's, I, that's I, not I, a it, that's not a number, Hunter. Zero. That's not fair. Zero is actually not a number technically. It's the absence of number. I'm I'm, refu I'm it's a representation refusing, of the absence of yet. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm refusing answering to a percentage. To even say one percent would be good. I would only do it if I could do it where it was overly detailed and it was. So good that it makes it bad. Okay. Odds are. <laughs> I'm not doing it tomorrow, though. Okay. okay Sunday. Odds are. <laughs> Sunday. No, no, not, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. How about within Sunday? the next year? Oh, within the next year. Mm, I'd probably say like comfortably twelve percent. So uh, out of uh, out of a hundred. Sure. Twelve out of a hundred, or just out of a hundred? Is that what you mean? Well, I guess what are the odds? What do you mean? You have to pick the number that the odds are out of. Oh. Uh, oh, you're talking about the game thing? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about, like, what are the odds that you're going to do it? No, no, uh, we're challenging you to the game. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh, 12 out of... Uh, just say, just say, just say, say the number just it's out of. Number. Just the uh, <laughs> highest number you can choose is 100. Um, is 100? Is a, that's the highest that's the you highest. can highest. That's not true. I've heard of it, people doing it more. Yeah, losers. They're pussies, that's, what, you know. 90. Okay. Okay. I'll count now, it down, and it's you two. And we have to, when we say the same number at the same time, it has to be between 1 and 90. You got your number chosen, <laughs> and if it's the same number, you got to get that tattoo. I'll right. probably I could I will actually honor that. Okay, All right. I have it. Three, two, one. Forty-seven. Seventy-three. I was thinking seventy-three, but I switched to fucking ugh, next time. <laughs> 
I think I'm, you're gonna unironically gonna you guys won't talk for for months, and then you're gonna get a picture message from me. And I'm gonna have that tattoo done. <laughs> that would blow my mind. Why? Because that would be awesome. If I it would mean, why, that, it why would mean we, that you care about our friendship we, so why don't much we, that you. Why, and when we go to Vegas, why don't we get matching ones? We can. Not of the Count Olaf tattoo, unless you want the Count Olaf tattoo. <clears throat> we could do the Count Olaf thing. I, I think I've read one of those books, so it would be pretty funny for me. To I like, read like ten of them. I read up to the elevator one, the hotel, whatever the fuck. I read up is. to the like that? second to last. What does the tattoo even look like? I don't know. It's, it's a, a triangle dagger? with like an eye. Isn't that the Harry Potter one too? What was I say? Is that just the Deathly Hollows tattoo thing then? But it has an eye in it. Would people mistake it for Gravity Falls? That would be sweet. Or he copied my triangle guy shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who did? Gravity Count Falls Olaf. guy. Oh, sure, that guy too. Okay. And actually the, the dollar bill copied it as well, which pisses me off that the treasury decided to fucking impede on my shit it's like that. It's a good that. idea. I know, then they you took it. You should have protected it, too. I should have gotten my triangle guy shit copyrighted. And, then and the, the Illuminati. Fucking, the treasury and the Illuminati. They, they're big super mega fans. They're big mega heads, and they went and fucking, you know, I guess did that, so. But you know what's even cooler than the Illuminati? Some uh, another uh, another part of this podcast brought to you by Illuminati affiliated companies. This episode of Super Mega Cast is brought to you by BetterHelp. It's so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you, and never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. I know I've had this problem, and one of the ways I've been able to deal with it better is by going to therapy. Uh, going to therapy has has in- incredibly increased my overall mental health. And I feel like I'm more prepared for whatever challenges life throws my way. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. Like I said, I go to therapy pretty much every week. Uh, It's super helpful. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made. And if you're interested in trying therapy, a great option is BetterHelp. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. That's right. It's that simple. Therapy all online. So find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash SuperMega today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash SuperMega. Be the best you you can be with BetterHelp. And we're back from those delightful advertisers, um, you know, just yeah. uh, just just hanging out with the boys right did now. You guys, uh, did you guys watch any of the big HBO finales? Barry and no, Succession. I no. haven't started either one. I've been meaning to though. I'm more into interested in Barry. I, I, I've seen <clears throat> memes of Secession. I've heard people say it's good, but I don't really. No, I think much. it's something that I think that it's you about. could you could look at. I mean, it's just about like the secession of power. Of, like, is it based off of like a? I heard it was like, supposed to be like Fox of, News, okay, kind of. Like, yeah, Rupert it's, like a, it's like a it's like a <laughs> media conglomerate kind of thing, and their dad is supposed to be retiring, and it's which kid is going to get the company? Okay, whatever. So they're trying to prove themselves, and it's a competition. Yeah, they're trying to like all fuck themselves over, like fuck each other over, and see who can get on top, whatever. I, and I it actually surprised me because I was like, eh, I don't think I'm really interested in like weird Wall Street, Fox News bullshit, whatever. But uh, it was, it was, yeah, it was good. Good. The weird thing at first, though, it's hard to get used to. It's really annoying. Is the snap zoom? They do a bunch of snap zooms where they're sitting there and they like, like sh- Paul they Greengrass going. snap zooms. I like snap zooms. Yeah, it, it's it's stylistically it's fine, but they do it like a lot, and it's handheld too, so it's like. It's just very shaky, and it, it, it you just notice it happens a lot. Does it feel like? Are they doing it artificially, or are they actually like handheld? I think they're I think they're doing handheld for the zooms. Okay, they do have like the dollies and kind of stuff like that, but I think it's, it's like real, the Office. Yeah, another you know. show that's getting like a lot of uh, big big craze. I haven't seen anything about it. Yellow Jackets. Oh, I saw part of the first season of that. Was it good? Did you enjoy I don't it? Think I've ever heard. All right. I mean, I mean, it's based on uh, a true story that's like really horrific, about like a soccer team that crashed in the Andes Mountains and then turned to like cannibalism because no one was coming to rescue them. That sounds tight. Uh, and they were there for a very long time, and a group of people actually like emerged and survived. So it's like based on that. It's like a modern take on that. Is it like serious? Is it like a dark comedy? Or it seemed pretty serious. Okay. I watched like two or three episodes of my sister and my cousin. 
Um, Forrest? No, not Cousin oh, Forrest. Nice. Yeah. I'm not, unfortunately not. Um, Cousin Forrest uh, recently joined a, a cult in India. He went to live on some compound over in uh, India, so... However one maintains and solidifies inner peace is no business of mine but their own. He had to cut off his penis for it. <clears throat> I still stand by what I said. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will say Barry's very good. Okay. I've only seen the first episode. I need to fucking get on is that. Is it Barry oh, okay. good? It's it's very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, yeah, that it, it I, I like the themes of that show. I like it a lot. I think that it's, it dances a fine dance very well. Is it a, is it the is it like the theme of like can you be a better person regardless of what you've done in your past type of theme? Yeah, I mean the the thematic or like the the question that it's asking the audience question or consistently is can people change is a big thing. Usually every good show has a kind of poignant theme that they're trying to t ask the audience while ha asking that question to the main cast of characters. Mm -hmm. So like asking that cat question to the cast of characters is pretty fun and how they go about that but it does a great job about writing um of lowering your defenses with the perspective of barry who's this hitman who goes to la to try to become an actor and like him killing people and him being like all right that's the last one yeah. whatever and it's and it's a lot of a comedy but over time the show shifts its tone to where you kind of like see the repercussions of all of his actions. And I love it, that, and it makes it very uh, dramatic and sad. And like, they just it, it it starts off like a comedy, and it's like a th like a drama comedy. So it's not like they do have serious moments in the first, yeah. yeah. But it is inherently like the first two seasons are very funny, and they still have little bits of comedy in the later seasons. But it just does it switches, and they just um, it's just kind of interesting to see that. It's kind of like a I would. Of course, not in the same vein, but how I feel how uh, break, not Breaking Bad, but Better Call Saul went. Yeah, because in the beginning it was a lot more lighthearted. There was a lot more comedy thrust into situations, and I feel like the comedy got darker in the later seasons. And towards the end, it's just kind of like, oh fuck. Yeah, very self serious. Yeah, I like that stuff though. I love shows about morally ambiguous protagonists. You know, where you're kind of like uh, watching them on this path and kind of like. You know, it watch makes it more choose. interesting if you can have your main character be somewhat of an anti-hero or somebody who does make mistakes and like is like gives in to some of the bad sides of like they're not like an angel like they give in to like greedy side of things they do those things and it's how do they learn and grow from those experiences and then that's why like every popular show almost ever has a character who's, like, almost an anti-hero. I mean, like, Breaking Bad, Tony Soprano, or Walter White, Tony Soprano, all those kind of characters. Even in comedy, too, a lot of, like, people that are funny, they're usually bad people because it's you can put parts of yourself into them and yeah. see how they react to things. Like the whole, like, Always Sunny or Seinfeld, where Seinfeld. the show is about yeah, like terrible the, people. Mm -hmm. Look at that. this podcast. You got two terrible people right here. Mm. And you know, people can you know put themselves three in terrible this. people. We have a come on. Sorry, three terrible people three, right here. Three horrible, horrible people. Three horrible fucking people right here. But yeah. you know, people can relate. You know, and it's funny. So it is know, good. It is good. What else did I watch? I watched this show called Swarm recently on Amazon. That sounds familiar. What is that? It was about like um, a woman who's obsessed with like this musical artist, and she wants to like, she needs to like meet her. Okay. But she like, goes through and like she murders people along the way. Or whatever. It's, no it's, spoilers. It's, no spoilers. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's just like. I mean, that's like in the trailer of the show. I heard about that, that. Jesse was it? Jesse Plemons in um Elizabeth Olsen show. It's like based on this old movie or maybe series. It's like uh, it's like in a old old fashioned type of. It's not like way back when. It's takes place semi modern, maybe like in the seventies, eighties. I don't know, but it's just a little church town and it's just like an affair that spirals out of control with these nice little church folk. You talk about a lot of you talk about the show like Love Can and Death or something it's called. Was it the Oh yeah, yeah it's called yeah. Okay. It's on it's on uh sorry not not Max. HBO. It's on Max. Okay. Not HBO. There was Max. that and I think that that show that they already did a show of that too called Candy with the chick that is married to Justin Timberlake. It's called Candy. I can't wait till I get you on the floor. I good always look. accidentally. I can't wait till I get you, you on go. the floor. Good looking. Uh, 
but I'm so hot just like an oven. Anyway, uh, I've been watching a lot of Max lately, too. I just watched all of Righteous Gemstones. I just watched Vice Principals. I watched, uh, I like Max a lot. HBO Max. Is it weird seeing yourself in Vice Principals? Well, I had never seen it before. I was just an extra and... And, and How'd you get that? I don't think you, I think I've I think remember the first time I was on this podcast I was like I was watching Vice Principals and you were there. Yeah, it was but literally. How did you get into it? was an ad in the newspaper. My mom showed me. She's oh, that's like, awesome. She's like, it was before I moved out to L.A. Uh, it was like at the very end of my freshman year of college. Danny McBride was like shooting that show in Charleston, and then my mom saw an ad in the paper. Was like Matthew, look at this. She's, that's not what she sounds like at all, but. You're being humble. He he saw kids with problems and went, I gotta have this kid. Danny McBride saw the YouTube channel Kids with Problems <laughs> and said, okay, I need this kid in my show. I need him to hit on my 13-year-old oh God, daughter. I forgot, that, I forgot that was the name of your channel. I thought you meant like he saw kids with problems. <laughs> like, and like, and like I a, was in there. Yeah, like, you a, know? Tr- like a troubled child. <laughs> he went to a, a troubled child house. Hey, buddy, house. come here. Gave me a little piece of a hard candy. And, about kids with problems? Also, it was... Yeah, I don't know. I was semi a part of for like you were, a few big, you're a big part of the history, you know. And then we said, let's start something new, and we started Super Mega. Who else did you do uh, Kids with Problems with? Jose, Jackson. Oh fuck! Okay, I didn't actually. Didn't know that. <laughs> I actually forgot. I didn't. Know that. Um, <laughs> y- y'all want to look at my penis real quick? Let me see it. Let me see that thing. I really, I don't think I want to see your cock. <laughs> there Did it is. You mere inches out. from my face. There Did it is. Did you actually put it? Yeah, out? yeah. I mean, it's fucking. It's jiggling around right now. Ew. No, don't pull the don't pull a pube out, Ryan. Please, Ew. I don't. You can throw it on me. It's <laughs> show Hunter. You want to see? I don't want to see it. What? Show him. Oh, okay. Hunter, I mean, I got to get a look at it. He was bobbing it around in circ- my face. Are you circumcised? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me see it. Okay. There's no foreskin. Don't worry about that. No stank. <laughs> Oh fuck, sorry, you stepped sorry, on my sorry. toe. Oh fuck. <laughs> Did you pull it through the gym shorts? Through the leg? Oh god. Did you pull it through the fucking Why did leg you of the reveal gym it like that? It was just a comfortable position. I didn't want to bend my back. Why didn't like you that? reveal it like that to me? Because I, th- I gave you a more close and personal. You did, but but I, I love it like through the, the pulling the, the, <laughs> the, the shorts off. Like, you sat there and saw you, like, you're looking down at your cock and stuff, juggling around like it was like you just got done pissing. <laughs> you know what I mean? When people are like. I'll have- never fucking forget when we had you on Drunk Drawing and someone's so like. Masterfully photoshopped your nuts to be like visible through like I the opening so in your shorts. We were and at a g- like we we were about to go to a concert, and I think you like you or, texted <laughs> you texted Justin or like I think I texted like everybody. Yeah, you, like, te- you guys. There, it's like it was yeah, a my fucking shot. balls are hanging. Out. <laughs> and you're like, was, dude, my was, balls are it, showing in this it video. Was a, it was an amazing Photoshop. And then I, the the comment too. I remember my I showed my mom and she laughed really hard because the comment was. uh Hunter sat in some gum. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Dude, it's an unbelievably well done Photoshop. Yeah, it's like so real. Because your legs are spread and you're wearing shorts, and someone just Photoshopped, like, <laughs> match the lighting, like, your nuts visible. They yeah. tried to do it several times in the future, but no, Once never the cat held was up. was out of the bag. Never held up. Because when I saw that frame, I laughed my ass. Me and Ryan busted out laughing when we saw that. You texted us and like... Well, it was a ser- the, the problem was that it was a series of bad events because that happened and I don't know if you remember this, but the first time I ever came over here I got like shit faced and I took a shit in that... Yeah, you <laughs> left it in there. Yeah. And I, th- I thought that I flushed it. No, I remember it because I, I had to deal with it. <laughs> and and I don't hold that against you. But I sat you. there and I was like, I could have swore... I th- and then yeah, you just sent me a picture of it and I was like, oh <laughs> my god. It's a crazy I felt so bad. It's it's literally like fucking Willy Wonka's like fucking chocolate river, but like if it were all concentrated into a toilet to the very brim, um, I felt bad. Oh, dude! I don't and care. then after that, it was that, yeah, yeah. The Sorry. nuts was very funny though, because Ryan and I were busting out. We were laughing so goddamn hard at that, like yeah, just a ima- man. <laughs> I'm thinking back to this picture. It's so good. Have it's- you guys been helping uh, any of the? Union workers on strike right now? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. We've been out there every day picketing. Mm-hmm. To support... If we want to continue to work in LA, to support the people that... If we want to transition into yeah, the exactly. more, like, regular we entertainment industry, TV. like TV and stuff. Hunter said we could be in the movie that he's working on. Yeah. Remember last podcast? Thank you, Hunter, yeah. Um, it was very nice of you. We really do want to transition more into, like, television or 
streaming services or just movies. So it, we've been out there picketing every day, but we've been wearing face masks because of COVID. So it might be hard to see us in pictures, but we have been out there every single day. That's why we haven't been uploading as much, actually. Yeah, it's because we've we're been out there. We're fighting the good fight. We're fighting the good fight with with the picket signs. and. <laughs> if you guys were going to... I bought 12 pizzas for them. I thought Hassan did that. Nope. Uh, see, we're nice. So we, we bought them and Hassan showed up and was like, hey, I don't have anything to like make myself look good for this. So we gave the pizzas to Hassan and said, you can say this was yours. But we bought those Give pizzas. Give me your best Hassan impression. Dude. <laughs> That's his Fuck. Line. I'm Hassan. Yeah. I'm gay. That's what he says. That's it. Is he gay? No. Yeah. Come on, Ryan. That was. <laughs> he is. What? Noel is? Is that what you just said? Noel might be gay. Noel Miller. So you've got a podcast with Noel Miller. Why do you say he might be? Why why might? Why not? Well, he's married currently to a woman. A lot of men are married to women that end up being but gay. I've seen him do some very shady shit on the road. I've been to a couple of his comedy shows. Same. I just went to one recently, actually. How'd you like it? I loved it. It's the, I've been to two of his comedy shows. Very, very funny. And when he, he hasn't well, he hasn't brought you up on stage, unfortunately, yet. No, so. unfortunately. Um, in yeah. fact, I even bought front row seats. and I had So a, he would notice I had you. a big sign that said, Noel, it's me, Matt Watson, <laughs> yeah. from the YouTube channel Super Mega, at Matt H. Watson. <laughs> let, let, let me play. This is my dream or whatever the fuck. <laughs> and I, I literally was front and center holding it up, and he was shooting a comedy <laughs> special, and they even had someone come down and tap my shoulder and Stop. say, you're blocking the cameras. And I said, I don't care. <laughs> you let me up there. I'll put it down. And I didn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he didn't acknowledge yeah, he, it. Yeah, so. I, I, he's never brought me up on stage either. Pisses me off. And we have a show together, which is, I don't know. I get it, it man. I have mean, you guys ever had him on this show? We haven't had either of the Tiny Meat Gang boys You guys on. gotta get him on there. Well, you I was guys, talking You guys gotta go on your, their show, too. We are, we're going on a TMG thing later this month. It's like a live stream thing? Some, yeah, it's a live stream thing. And then, uh, I was talking to Noel, and he, you know, we're gonna, I think we're... We're going to have him on the show soon. Okay. Soon. At, at some point. He's very yeah, funny. I, I know For some guys, reason, Cody doesn't want to be on the show. No, Cody... Okay, so I, I have pictures of Cody on my phone that basically... Of him from a Halloween party. Yeah. And, 2012. And, and I told him, I said, well, Cody, I'm never going to release these photos. And he said, yeah, but I mean, the fact that you even have those in the first place is very upsetting to me. I'm like, well, you were the one that did the, the costume. The fact that you, yeah, were in that costume should be upsetting but. I remember when the, uh, I think I know which one you're talking about, because I remember whenever the Justin uh, Trudeau, whatever, mm -hmm. those pictures leaked, he just looked at it, he just was laughing, he was like, I, well, child's I th play. I, th I think for him, thank God, because Justin Trudeau's, like, kind of took took the limelight away from his his costume. I, I, yes. I don't want to refrain, because I don't know how to really, like... Say what his costume was without you can't say what it was without even you would be canceled if you said because Hunter put it best he made Justin Trudeau look like child's play mm -hmm. yeah so it's a, it's a great I like that movie um, oh it's a great movie but the original not the not the one not the remake right who, who voices it? Luke Skywalker Mark Hamill voices Chucky in the newer one and I and I, I kind of like the original voice actor mm. Child's Play it's a horror movie where a doll comes to life. You ever heard mm. of it? Mm hmm. I think you would like it. You like horror stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Why didn't you say so? Now I feel stupid that I recommended the movie to you. No, I appreciate the you recommendation. You look stupid, Ryan, and I feel bad for you that you look so stupid. <laughs> well, as my friend, I couldn't imagine being in your position looking at your stupid friend. No, oh, come on. Looking man. stupid in front of no, dude. potentially tens of thousands to millions of people, millions. depending on how good. This episode does how how you're how, gonna promote this right, yeah. Hunter? I try, I try every time. Try, try, I try every time. You know what Yoda I said? I do, I do every time. You know what Yoda said? Do or do not. There is no. I'm try. horny. That's not what he said. <laughs> it's not, no, it's not what he said. <laughs> My little cock is hard. He never said that. No, he never no. said that in any of the Star Wars. Not movies. even in the deleted scene. Spit on the shaft. Every single deleted. Stop. He spit on the shaft. <laughs> Work the said. balls. <laughs> That's a Jedi master. Is it? it is, yeah, yeah he is. No, that's it. He, no, is. Hunter, he, worked, he, he, he lived a long way, life. Stop. That's a Jedi master. You can, the only way you can graduate is by spinning on the shaft and working the balls. That's the worst human impression. <laughs> is that the worst? Why don't you just spit on it? What if Luke mm. walked up and said, Come on, Master Yoda, please. I need you to help me. I need you to train me. 
That's a pretty pussy you got. <laughs> You're pretty pussy you have. Flowery. Like a beautiful flower. Pretty pussy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck did you even grab Matt that? pulls out a Yoda mask. I had this one on lock. No, it was. Holy shit. That was clutch. Like Where the fuck do you even put that? It's like a Velcro thing on the back. Good pussy that is. I can't. I can't do Yoda's Good fucking. Good pussy that is. Mm, fuck you, I must. That's my ring. That's uh, my ring. My tone. favorite piece of technology is a dental dam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yoda's the kind of guy to drape a dental dam over a pussy and eat it out. <laughs> it works like this, and he holds it up and stretches it out. And he's like, mm. "Works like this, it does." Why mm. do you think my skin is so clear? Oh man, I what? love Yoda. Just kidding. I hate him. Wild. Got you guys. Got the whole audience, too. Do you, do you guys like Star Wars? I've only it's seen fun. one. It's a fun, uh, like, side. Yeah. I, I'm not, like, a b big fan. I don't keep up with the latest shit. I don't like the recent shit that's been, like, the Dude. Mandalorian season. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even see season three. I don't, I didn't check out, oh, what's that one, Andor? Which you, like you're saying all sorts of. I have no idea what you're talking about with any of this. It's stuff. all these new shows he that they came know. out with. They came out with like a like all these fucking shows, like a Boba Fett show. It's like they did they did the same thing that they're doing uh, that Disney did with Marvel, where it's they're taking a lot of their like big properties and they're just fucking putting out a lot of bullshit on the. We Disney need content. Plus. Exactly. Yeah, but they have failed to ask me and Ryan to make some content. I would love to be. They put Jack Black and Lizzo in Mandalorian season three. That is not a bit or a joke. No, I I saw it. They, yeah. Why haven't we been asked to be in anything? Put us Jonathan in a fucking. Favreau, we we love Chef. We th we love Iron Man one and two. I love John Favreau. I love your appearance in Sopranos for one episode. G anybody, put us in a fucking Swiffer commercial. Four, I don't care. Four Christmases, you were in that and were phenomenal. You're so money, you don't even realize it. Yeah, exactly. He, this is from his movie Made It. I knew that because I love that movie. I love all John Favreau Couples stuff. Couples Retreat. Seen that one? Sharks! Ah, they're sharks. Uh, the scene where there might be sharks in the water or something. With Vince Vaughn. He's going, ah! So, is Owen Wilson in Couples Retreat? I don't, I don't no, know. I'm thinking of Hall Pass. Yeah, you're thinking of Hall Fuck. Pass. That's, uh, that's, that's Owen Wilson and uh, Jason Sudeikis. And uh, the, uh, oh, I can't remember her name. She was from The Office. Halle Berry. No. Uh, Michael Scott. No, 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 no. She... <laughs> She, Pam, yes, but the actress's <laughs> name of Pam, Pam, is Michael not, Scott, is, is not Pam, S Michael, not Michael Scott, S Angela. Angela, Stanley, Meredith, S Phyllis, Michael Scott, Kelly. You're, these are all correct character names: <laughs> Kelly, Phyllis. <laughs> Michael, Pam, Pam, Michael Scott. Michael Scott is a character from The Office. So Ryan. Ryan is a character from The Office. He moves Stanley. to New York. Stanley is, uh... Dwight! Daryl. Daryl. <laughs> you know, you are listing off every single... My man's seen The Office. office. Oscar. <laughs> Oscar's great. Kevin. Oscar was actually Roy? sexually Roy? assaulted by Michael Scott in the workplace. Roy. It's very People upsetting. forget about Roy. Who was Will Ferrell's character? Remember they brought uh, him on for a bit? for, they did like a series of like special guest the, he episodes. Was to, he was supposed to be the replacement of Michael, but then he, yep. he like has a concussion and goes brain dead. That's but then like Voltron guy. comes, or Ultron, sorry. And the black, the guy from the blacklist and he plays Ultron in the Avengers movies. Creed. Is that his name? Creed. No, that's just, <laughs> <laughs> Creed comes in, yeah. No, 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 the guy's like, I'm the lizard king, whatever the fuck, you know? Yeah. Because Kathy Bates comes in. In one episode as well. Yeah, a lot of big came. Jim yeah. Carrey's actually Toby in there. McGuire, Mac. No, I'm just still trying. To Toby Mac, <laughs> rapper, and his son sing a song. True Dog. <laughs> what? True Dog. That's the name of his son. Isn't that the character like the radio guy from Fallout Three? No, that's Three Dog. Sorry. Mm. Ow, ow, ow! It's Three Dog. Yeah. So True Dog is is Toby Mac, the Christian rapper's son. He appears on a track on Toby Mac's album. Um, really great Christian rap album. I actually listened to it recently all the way through less than two weeks ago. Congratulations. It's a great album. It's got Kirk Franklin on it. Nice. Okay. It's, uh... Uh, Kirk Franklin, huh? Mm. You let a new, uh, new Kirk Franklin? Huh? Mind if I praise God? Remember that one? Yep. It's good. That's, I mean, it still is, yeah. Hunter, give do, us do a bit listen, to do. do you, did you ever listen to, like, a Christian radio, or did, were you, do you have any, like, a 
Are you a Jesus head? Are you a disciple head? I, uh, I are you went, an I, apostle? I was very religious when I was younger. Why not anymore? I don't know. Were you I just were, love pussy and alcohol too much? I guess. Mm. Hey, I'll I think it's that. Cheers to Cheers. pussy and alcohol, right? Good pussy and alcohol. Like, hey, even a little bad pussy ain't I like, hurt nobody. I like, I like sloppy pussy. Sloppy pussy. I love that pastrami sandwich bullshit. I want I like, that Reuben like, up like in my kissing, face. I like kissing the pussy real light. And I come up. And as I do that, it looks like I just put like two whole tubes of chapstick on my lips. Is that glistened? I just look at it. I don't know what to I don't know where to begin, you know? Lieutenant Dan, she had a very pretty pussy. She had a pretty, pretty, pretty pussy, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, she had the most pretty Forrest. pussy I've ever seen. <laughs> Forrest. Don't Forrest. Talk about a pussy. Her <laughs> tutorial hood was flappy. <laughs> Forrest, <laughs> it's it's rude to talk so about I a woman's think. pussy to another man. She sat there and she said, I couldn't find it, but I did. I found the G spot. It's almost like she had a little penis above her <laughs> vagina. It's it- called the clitoris, Forrest. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest eats a pussy, has no idea about like what the anatomy and she started screaming and moaning. <laughs> Forrest, I mean, didn't I do these screams? They sound like screams of pleasure, right? She, she, yes, I was yes, too, were the words. I said, was right? too scared. <laughs> <laughs> he was scared. She, in the movie, she she how ran. Did she, how, she, did she, how did he have sex with her if he's scared? Right. Well, no. Okay, he, he, he was scared. He, he, he worked he, up to it eventually. Yeah. He 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 only pre-ejaculated one time. Yeah, but you know what sucks too, though. We, we didn't, you didn't get what you don't have to have a full sex scene, but one clip of him like. Because remember at the beginning, you see of, him come. Remember at the beginning of the movie, he, he does, shows penis coming. He said, "He's like, oh, yo, yo." D- <laughs> 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 and I found it's all warm and sticky feet. inside. <laughs> it's so warm coming. and sticky inside. He said there, and he, uh, he's, he's, like, oh, your mama loves yours. Occasionally, he does. <laughs> and later in the movie, they should have done a callback to when he's older. He's like, when he's going. Eh, 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 eh. That's what he thinks. That Wait, people, when he gets Ginny pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, like, you know that part when she puts his hand on her breast and he comes? <laughs> just imagining just they have another close-up shot during that part where you see his erect penis. It's a just, close-up of him ejaculating. A, a 3D fabricated, it's like, like, dripping down his cock. Just th- oh. 3D fabricated whitey tidy texture oh. around you. see <laughs> Tom Hanks' <laughs> limp cock, actually. <laughs> just like, just do... Just imagine forcing <laughs> squirt oh. up. <laughs> I was coming. Oh, I began oh. to come. I was coming. Lieutenant Dan, she had all these. She had all this extra skin down there that I don't have. <laughs> I'm not a smart man, but I know what a hymen is. Forrest, now, you, you know what a hymen is, but, but wait, how was she a virgin, Forrest? <laughs> I guess so. I guess so, Lieutenant Dan. I tore it up. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, I tore that ass up. Like a dog in a bowl of pedigree. <laughs> I was slobbering and barking. <laughs> I was wagging my tail. I was wagging my front tail, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Do you find me? Yeah. It's like shows, you know, like in movies, whenever it's like a person's nervous to have sex, but then they break through and it shows like their montage of them fucking like crazy. Mm-hmm. So after the first time that he does sex with her, then it does a montage of like, but we were fucking all the time, Lieutenant Dan. And he gets up and he does a front wag. He's like, I was wagging my tail. And he sits there. And, it's, and then it's a callback to the Jesus, or to the uh, Elvis shake. Oh, see. And he's standing there and just with his cock. Lieutenant Dan's in his wheelchair. He can't even like go anywhere. And Forrest Gump's cock is right in his fucking face. I thought you were like setting up like he was doing like a, like what he did with Bubba Gump and like the shrimp sandwich. Like you could fuck just about anywhere. Yeah. On you, the floor. I on, fucked her on the couch, on, on the, the countertop. I bent her over the radiator. <laughs> you can put your penis just, you can come, you can come just about anywhere in her pussy, and the thing, in her butthole. <laughs> the thing about it, Lieutenant Dan was I liked it when she told me where to come. <laughs> Forrest, she I, said, come on my belly. Forrest, I don't need to hear all this. Can I come on no. your belly, Lieutenant Dan? Not Forrest. <laughs> he, he tries, Forrest. He tries. Dad, to, sit down, Forrest. He tries to wheel out, but fucking Forrest like stops him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you realize that you're stuck here, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Forrest? What are you doing, Forrest? <laughs> it's funny because her asshole looks like a starfish, but she has a little beady thing on it, and she said that's called a hemorrhoid. <laughs> Why are you telling me this, Forrest? <laughs> Forrest, I don't want to hear this. Forrest, I really don't want you to tell me about this. Forrest, put your slacks back on. Sit down. What are you, what are yeah. you doing? Pull your dickies back up, Forrest. 
<laughs> no, Lieutenant Dan, I need to show you what I did. I need to tell you about everything I did, Lieutenant Dan, when I did it. No, Forrest, I, please, Forrest. I bet, with my wealth, I bought myself a video camera and I recorded <laughs> all of it. Forrest, only only Forrest. It's my only fans that people can <laughs> find me at. Forrest, I don't want to see this video. I, I'm tape. on Fansly, too. <laughs> I'm on Fansly. I'm in the top 1%. Of I'm in the point 0.1% of Fansly. Top point 0.1% of OnlyFans. I've been stroking and sucking my Maybe, way to the top, Lieutenant can you imagine Dan. Forrest, Forrest Gump actually did like solo OnlyFans content and like watching him jack off with like on like sitting on a toilet and he has like his camera on his like sink and he's like Forrest Gump porn does exist. What? What? Really? <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you if saying, it's popular, it no, exists. I was, I was, I'm saying, are you, oh, I thought you meant assuming you, this you, exists or I, have you seen yeah, it? Yeah, have you seen it? Are you just Forrest assuming? Gump porn? I thought we've looked it up one time. I don't remember. Like five years ago. It's a shame that even just in the term, like in the world of sex, that there isn't like something called gumping or something like that or the gump. I was gumping. I gumped. I gumped like, 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 a, like imagine just a little little circle of young men. What's your favorite position? Man, I just, I love reverse cowgirl. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I know I'm a classic, but I just like missionary. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Man, I like the gump. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> He's like in the circle. <laughs> yeah. You know, about, they named that after it? me. What about it that you like? <laughs> He's on the fucking bench, like cuts back to him on the bench. They even named it after me. <laughs> <laughs> but, Wait, what a, hold on a second. They named the Gump after you. Yeah. Oh well, I heard it all. I know what Shut people up, made what a big deal up. about it. I was just moving yeah. my hips and my legs like I normally. It was like dancing. <laughs> it's like, just regular missionary. <laughs> <laughs> I just started pumping. Yeah, I started pumping <laughs> and dumping <laughs> and humping. The gump is he does missionary. He does missionary and then he gets into a dog style pose and he just shits on the bed. <laughs> and then he goes back in. I was pumping and dumping. They cut up calling it the gump. <laughs> it was really popular in New York. I'm not a big fan of cream pies, Lieutenant Dan. Forrest, I. Please stop. Why do I want to see Forrest, let me go to bed. Let me, let me, <laughs> why would I want to see another man's cum f fill a woman's vagina, Lieutenant Dan? Get me out of this closet, Forrest. <laughs> Forrest, unlock the closet. <laughs> it goops out of there, and it's just gross, Lieutenant Dan. It looks like it looks like an old man's nose. Let me out of this closet, <laughs> Forrest. <laughs> I'll let you out for it. I'll let you out, Lieutenant Dan, if I could show you this video. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it for us. Well, and you're not staying in the closet. Yeah, I got. Actually, that'd be a, that'd be a whole nother kind of can of worms if instead of at a public bus stop, he's like sitting in a fucking like room that he's rented, and Lieutenant Dan's just stuck in a closet, and he's telling all these stories to him. Let me out, Forrest. No, but this one time. Yeah. <laughs> Forrest, I haven't eaten in three days. God damn it. No, I didn't tell you about the time. Gump! Uh, I remember when I saved you in Vietnam? Let me out, Gump! <laughs> I didn't tell you time. I'm dying! <laughs> I didn't tell you about the time the first time I had home nachos, which is just tortilla chips and shredded cheese on the microwave. You can get your it. legs back when you hear the rest of my stories, Lieutenant Dan. Forrest, just please give me a little water. <laughs> I think I make him sound a lot more fucked up than he is in the movie. I don't know time. about that. Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> That's not, yeah, a little more fucked up. No, but Lieutenant Dan, I so she, she had this thing called a pussy, and it stank. He's Forrest. Pushing, he's pushing chocolate candies through the keyhole on the closet door. <laughs> he's pushing chocolate coins underneath. Here you go, yeah. Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. Forrest. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Forrest yeah. Gump accidentally creates the world's first glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, Lieutenant Dan. This is what I did. The Forrest, sex I need with. some help. I need, can you can you pass the can you pass the toilet paper? I could just put a hole in here and I can fit it through. Whoops! I'm imagining now in the Forrest Gump movie how he does all these historic things. Like he creates the first glory <laughs> hole by accident. It'd be funny, especially if in this version of it too, it's like so. It's so much more exaggerated. Like he's at like Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. <laughs> it's like Forrest. That's just not possible. You're not that old. Lincoln was up there talking. Yeah, his big rambling. hat on. Yeah, big, yeah, big hat. hat. His goofy beard. With a hat as big as his cock, Lieutenant Dan. I tell you what, Forrest, you're schizophrenic. What are you talking about? 
Yeah, Jenny is just the schizophrenic side of himself. He has uh, multiple personalities. I love, uh, we used to do this bit with Aaron where it was Forrest Gump living with Lieutenant Dan. And Forrest just keeps giving Lieutenant, like sneaking Valvoline into <laughs> everything Lieutenant Dan's eating. He's like, Lieutenant Dan, have a sip of this. All right, Forrest. <laughs> oh, d- Jesus Christ, Forrest, that's Valvoline. Lieutenant Dan, <laughs> it makes your teeth wider. No, it t- Forrest, it's poison. It's for gut health, Lieutenant Dan. Well, why are you drinking it then, Lieutenant Dan? <laughs> you it's gave like, it to me, Forrest. Well, it's you like, shouldn't drink it. It's like apple cider vinegar. <laughs> He's in the shower fucking conditioning his hair. Oh, Jesus, my eyes! Um, Lieutenant Dan, there's Valvoline in there. Uh, Hunter. What? I have to pee. No, you don't. I am gonna get out of this chair. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna time it, too. I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna prove that it's not just some 15, 16 second bullshit, you know, piss. I've been holding it, and I think I deserve to have some relief. Because a lot of my mental energy has been going into me holding my piss, and I want to. So, so do you want to just wanna, do you just want to end the show? I, I'm not saying to end. Yeah, the you show. just want to end it, right? I didn't say that. No, you're, you're not having fun with your friends. I get it. I'm saying let me piss and I can come back and we no. can we can. No, you go piss. We'll we'll finish it off. Go. Just Bye, go. Ryan. It's good seeing you, man. Yeah, I'll see you. Uh, thanks for updating. Uh, you know me when you're coming by. Yeah, no problem. Hey, who's here? Right. I'm sorry that they all freak out about that. I'm sorry that you have to give every fucking person in Los Angeles your personal schedule. Yeah. No. Anyway. Um this has been our guest, Hunter. Yeah, AKA man. Meat Canyon, aka Papa Meat, whatever mm. you want to call him. You know. Yeah. It's the same beautiful, lovable man. Uh we have a great sketch on our channel with him called Fortune Cookies, if you want to watch that. It's one of our personal bests. And uh, if you want to go to Patreon, you could see what happens after this. The After Hours extended clip segment, part of the podcast. Turn the lights off. It's going to get all all fun. It's like going to be like a boy's sleepover. Mm. So thank you for coming on. Got anything specific you want to promote? Thank you, Matthew. Uh, thank you for coming on. No problem. You have a podcast as well with Noel. Noel Miller from Tiny Me Gang. I do, yeah. Me and Stretch Noel, and Fade. Me and Noel have a podcast called Stretch and Fade. Thank you, no- Matthew. Mm-hmm. It's very funny. I like the clips. Thank you so much, Matthew. Very good. Anyway, um, you'll see me and Ryan in every future Meat Canyon cartoon. And me and Ryan and uh, Hunter have a TV pilot uh, that is coming to FX next fall. That's so, coming to Spike TV. <laughs> it's coming to Spike TV. It's, uh, we're reviving Mansers. It's going to be <laughs> fucking awesome. It's going to be so fucking sick. <laughs> yeah, we're doing, uh, we're doing uh, Mansers and we're doing Silent Library. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what we're doing. We would not be able to do Silent Library, man. We'd die. You think so? Yeah, we we'd laugh. We should try. We should get some alt. We should get some alt comedians to come on and be in guest with us. Chris D'Elia. <laughs> Matt and Ryan, that was not funny. But I love Super Mega. <laughs> <laughs>